Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in a previous video, I showed you how I like to apply my masking fluid without ruining my brushes, because that's something that I see a lot of people ask about. Um, but then also people were asking about how to remove it. So I figured in today's video, I would show you how I like to remove it. So I've already gone ahead and removed it with this. And what I did use for that was this little uh, rubber block. And I got this with my liquid frisket. And I did get this on Amazon and it came with this rubber block. And it actually did a really good job without um, ruining the paper underneath. Now, normally when I'm doing um, masking fluid for watercolors, sometimes I'll just use my finger to remove the masking fluid and I kind of just go along like this. And usually once you get it started going, you can just kind of peel it up and take it off like that. So normally I'll do that, but this is for gouache. So it's a little bit thicker and I wanted to show you some different methods. Now, most people have just a washcloth, so this is just like a face washcloth at home, and I'm gonna show you today how I use this to do that. So what I'll do is I'll get the washcloth and I'll just wrap it around one of my fingers, and then I'll start on a spot where I don't have the paint. And I'll start just rubbing gently, and as you can see, it starts lifting that masking fluid really well. And you just wanna go around and be gentle. Now, I haven't had an issue with watercolor getting it transferred onto the face cloth, but where this is gouache, we'll find out about that together, I guess. And you don't wanna to rub too, too hard because you don't wanna you know, rip the paper, but I've had this masking fluid on this paper now for about a little over a week, I wanna say, so it's time for it to come off. But as you can see, it's coming off pretty easily. It's not ripping anything. So I'm gonna continue doing this and I'm gonna time-lapse this just so you don't have to sit here and watch me, you know, do this for however many minutes. And then I will show you the results. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of interject here for a minute, but as you can see, I'm taking it off and it's already starting to like form a nice little thing where I can start peeling it. So usually at this point, because I put it down in one layer, once I get it started, I'll just go ahead and grab it with my fingers like this and peel it right up. And it is so easy and so satisfying to do that. And you can see that it just peels off so easily. And you wanna do this gently, again, of course, because you don't want it to risk, um, you know, ruining the paper. But this has been on here for, gosh, over a week now, and it's doing a really good job. And this is my Etcher Cold Pressed Sketchbook. And this is the Winsor & Newton Slightly Pigmented um, masking fluid. So it's got a little bit of a yellow tinge. They have another one that is completely white, I believe, but I like the one that has the yellow tinge. So, you know, I lost that part where I could um, start peeling it off. So I'm just going to go back with the face cloth and work with that. There, so as you can see, that did a really great job of taking the masking fluid off. It didn't wreck our paper at all. And usually what I do when once I'm done this, because you can get little micro pieces of the masking fluid left on the paper if it's, you know, tore a little section but left a little bit. So I usually just run my finger over again and you'll notice like a bump where the masking fluid is and it will be a little bit tacky still. So I then I'll just kind of rub it off with my finger but I think we got everything. Now these little tiny specks that you're seeing is from the gouache itself, because um, if you've ever peeled up tape with gouache on it, the gouache breaks up into these little chunks like this. So 
you want to be careful with that. But since we're going to be painting over top of this flower, that's fine. I don't mind that. You can see we still got some really nice edges with the masking fluid and it didn't, um, using the face cloth, it didn't, you know, rub up the, uh, the other gouache that was underneath. And I'm just looking here to see. So there's a little tiny bit of transfer of color onto the face cloth. I don't know if you can see that there, just a tiny little bit, but that's not too bad at all. So I hope this was easy for you guys to understand and follow along. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up to the video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.